The question raise... is: the question is, has that medicine made us healthier as a population or sicker? That's it. That's this all. Is... You, to use your logic as a human being to go: does that actually work? We have well over a hundred years of this dominating medical approach to health, right? And How have we gotten healthier or sicker, sicker as a population? Right. And it's, it's creating a nanny state. It's like one, it's like, I, what's the number? One out of 30 kids now that's born in the U.S. is autistic or going to become autistic. Alzheimer's is through the roof. It's the creation of a nanny state, right? Because you got to care for the autistic kid his entire life. You don't kick him out of the house when he's 18 anymore. And then you got to care for your parents also. So who's going to be able to afford that? Very few people are going to be able to afford that. So it's going to keep everybody with their nose to the grindstone. They won't be able to look up. They won't be able to have a life because all of their money and all of their time is going to go towards the care of the kid that's got autism or the parent that has Alzheimer's. And that was also done intentionally in, in, in my belief. Um, but it's, a, again, it's a point well taken that you, you don't need to, be versed in how to read medical research you don't need a doctoral degree to figure this out all you have to do is look around and see how many people are sick how many people are healthy how many people do you know that have gotten cancer how many people do you know that have died from cancer how many people do you know that aren't taking any prescription drugs etc 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 you know orange is the new black well whatever but sickness is the new health and that's why the title of my first book was everybody is sick and i know why it's not because of chemtrails which are a real thing by the way it's not because of genetics it's not because you're getting older and it's not because of a voodoo curse it's because your medical doctor is not trained in healthcare. Your medical doctor does not know how to make you healthy. Your medical doctor is trained in disease management. Right. And, you know, it's better than to get disease management than to die from high blood pressure. But it's even better still to try to figure out what caused the high blood pressure and cure it. And this now, is another eye opener for most people. But most people do not understand. Yeah. Look, your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created. But your medical doctor doesn't practice medicine. They practice allopathic medicine. And allopathic medicine teaches its practitioners to manage disease. Your medical doctor does not know how to cure disease. They do not cure disease. If they get a cure, it's either by mistake or it was a bacterial infection that they eliminated temporarily with the use of an antibiotic. But, oh, let's not talk about antibiotic resistant bacterial infections which is going to be the next plague let's not talk about that but people need to understand your medical doctor doesn't practice medicine they practice allopathic medicine which is good for trauma care surgery when it's necessary most of the time it's not and you know the complications of childbirth and things like that but for everything else the best strategy that people can develop is to fire their medical doctors and seek out a different type of medical professional who has been trained in healthcare, in the delivery of healthcare, which, by the way, is science based and clinically verified. And hopefully, this is the silver lining behind all of the COVID crazy misdirection, nonsense, and lies. People are actually starting to wake up to the possibility that their medical doctor might not be you know, the brightest bulb in the bunch. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media and to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.